What's up, everybody? This is the Kid DC Wrestling here to bring you all your Friday, October 28, 2022 edition of Friday Night SmackDown. A few things I want to plug here, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we're trying to get to 1,940 subs, man. Ultimately, the big goal, 2,000 subs. So if you would hit that subscribe button, that'd be much appreciated. Now, Tomorrow will mark one week until the Crown Jewel pay-per-view event. So basically what's going to go down tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to upload my Crown Jewel preview and predictions for you guys tomorrow, which will probably be around 12 o'clock, somewhere around that time period. So be on the lookout for that, predictions for that show coming out tomorrow. Now let's get into tonight's show, man. Obviously the big highlight of the show, we saw the return of, of the Tribal Chief, the head of the table, the undisputed Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. I'm not going to sit up here and recount word for word what, what went on during this segment, but really, really just great segment all around, man. I'm telling you, the bloodline, they they make SmackDown watchable. You know what I'm saying? They make you want to tune into the show. You know what I'm saying? They make the show just great. You know what I'm saying? Um, so this is, I, I had little to no problems with this segment whatsoever, especially after what went down last week, and it was just so intriguing, you know what I'm saying? So we had Ronda Rousey, she defended her SmackDown Woman title in the Open Challenge match. I, I thought this was, uh, an okay match, you know, but obviously Ronda Rousey being the baddest one on the planet, we all knew how that was gonna end, so, yeah, um... There's really nothing more I could really say about that, but, you know, yeah, just all around solid stuff there. Uh, we had a tag team match player. We had Rich Holland and Butch taking on Sammy and freaking uh, Solo Sequoia. I, I thought this was a, I thought this was a pretty oh, solid match, I thought. It, it seems like they're, they're really setting up a Brawling Brutes and the Bloodline feud. Um, obviously, I know we got Crown Jewel coming up, but the next pay-per-view after that is the Survivor Series War Game. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get maybe a uh, Brawling Brutes and Bloodline in the War Games match or something like that. That'd be pretty interesting, but we'll have to see what happens from there. But overall, I thought this was a um, solid match here tonight on SmackDown, which, by the way, SmackDown was on FS1 tonight. And, of course, Hit Row with their mystery partner in the six-man tag team match against Legato Del Fantasma. Oh, man. This was, I thought this was, you know, pretty solid. You know, mystery partner, you know, being cool. I'm not going to, you know, obviously we know who he was. But it was cool. Um, but, yeah, I like Zelina Vega, though, in her role. I, I don't know if I really got to elaborate on this, but I like her in her role. With Legado del Fantasma, no offense to uh, Electra Lopez, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I think, you know, that group's going to do some good stuff here on the main roster. And, yeah, overall, I thought SmackDown was pretty solid tonight, man. It's crazy. We're getting closer and closer to Crown Jewel, which, again, my preview and prediction for that show will be coming out tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. This has been the Kid DC Wrestling, and so, um, yeah.